I am a newbie to Jetson Nano AI Computers. So for the first sharing regarding this product, I would like to show you how to remote using SSH in Visual Studio Code. Before that, please like, share, subscribe and press the bell to get the latest update from us. I'm using a Jetson Nano 2GB, micro SD card, USB Wi-Fi, and a USB-C adapter. Make sure you have flashed the Jetson Nano image on the SD card. I'm using Raspberry Pi Images software to write the image. Insert the SD card and I connect the Jetson Nano to my laptop using USB micro B cable for headless. Next, turn on the Jetson Nano. First, we need to use Putty software for serial remote. Tick on serial, write COM number for Jetson Nano. You can check the COM port at device manager. For example, mine is COM11. Then, set speed as 115200. Click open. Next, we need to set up the initial configuration for Jetson Nano. OK. Press tab and OK. I choose English. Select your location. I choose Malaysia. I choose United States. Yes. Insert your name. OK. Write your username and OK. Write your password. And OK. Write your password again and OK. I just use default setting. OK and yes. I choose wireless Ethernet. Please make sure you connect the USB Wi Fi. Select Enter ESSID manually. Write your Wi Fi SSID. Select WPA WPA to PSK. Write your Wi Fi password. Now it is trying to connect to Wi-Fi. Write your Jason Nano hostname, for example, jason.local. Okay. Okay. Now it is rebooting. I close the putty window. Wait for a while for the system to reboot. Open putty again. I want to try to remote using SSH in putty. Insert hostname, for example, jackson.local. Make sure to tick on SSH and open. 
it will pop up security alert window click yes insert your username and password We have successfully remote using SSH in Putty. Now we want to try on Visual Studio Code. Open Visual Studio Code software. Make sure you have installed remote SSH extension. Now we will make a new remote. Choose connect to host. Add new SSH host. Enter SSH connection command. Select SSH configuration file to update. Click connect. Continue. Enter your password for username. Okay, the SSH remote in VS Code is succeed. You can check here, it is stated json.local. Click view terminal to open the terminal. Click here to see folders and files. Insert your password for username. So this is the list of folders and files in JSON Nano. It is easy to access them using SSH in VS Code. So we have successfully removed the JSON Nano using SSH in VS Code. We can access folders and files, write coding and command easier. That's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching.